In this session of DesignWorks TV, we're going to be utilizing the new DesignWorks Pro Mesh. We're going to be utilizing a file that's fairly large. It's interior scan of a car. In this case, what they wanted to accomplish was they wanted to actually build uh, an object that would sit in here to hold a monitor and another object that would fit against here. So let's get started. With DesignWorks Pro Mesh, you can load in very large STL or OBJ files. So once the file is loaded, we're going to go ahead and spin it around here and let you zoom in and see. So let's take a look and we'll go into our mesh features tool. We're going to go ahead and paint this dash. Now we have three types of way to painting. We have brush, normal, and curvature. I'm simply going to go ahead and increase the brush size and it can be a square, lasso, or round. I'm going to paint this area because this is where they actually wanted to make a monitor fit up to the dash. Seeing so it's very fast and efficient. We're going to go ahead and create that back area and we're going to tell it to do a surface. And we're going to say one surface. And then we use some of the SolidWorks tools to create features up to surface. But again, working with large mesh files is no problem in DesignWorks. We can come over here and do analysis of it. I'm also using the 3D connection mouse. You can see the accuracy of it. They also wanted to come down here and see how it would work across multiple textures. So you got plastic and carpet here. So again, we're going to stick with the brush and just use the square and paint this area. Very fast and efficient. I think this original scan was about 250 megabytes. So we'll build that surface. And we'll go ahead and build it and analyze it. But again, you don't have to worry about painting against different textures and things. We're using the, uh, the flow surface in this case. We have a flow and a grid. And we're going to check the accuracy of it. We'll come over here. You can see in here I'm holding very tight tolerances across all the carpet. So let's go up here. We need to do a couple more things. We use some more feature tools. And again, tune into other our video sessions because we some of our uh, parts we go ahead and build full feature base. Some we do surfacing. So you'll want to see the whole collection of uh, videos on these parts. Some parts we don't build full features, and some we do. So let's go up here. I need a plane to be normal to this. So I'm going to go ahead and just build a plane off of this. And again, I can do a full brush or normal and paint the whole thing. Depends on how I want to do it. If I wanted to switch and get the whole area. I can go to normal and actually just paint all this in and say create a plane off of that. And I need two planes. I need that one and then I'm going to build one over here that will fit around these parts here. And I can turn off the extracted features whenever I want. And I'm going to build another plane over here. I'll probably just do the brush because I'm going to kind of dodge around my existing surface. And I could have I hide that. so. Let's go ahead and build one here. And that should be good enough to build this surface. I'll build a plane. Turn my features on. So now I've that fast brought in that large file, surfaced my area, made some planes. Now we're going to push the features back into SolidWorks. So at that point, you can see we have all of our features. And we'll go ahead and we'll turn off uh, our mesh for a section. So now that all the data is back to SolidWorks, one of the things they want to do is they want to make a monitor fit here. So again, this is extracted plane right out of the feature tree. Let's just drag it over here. And I know they wanted to offset it so far. So again, you can use all the SolidWorks tools. We'll just say features, reference geometry. We're going to bump it out there a few inches for the monitor. Let's bump it out there about two inches. Again, you can work with the mesh and work directly on it with all the SolidWorks tools. Now we have our plane that's come in here and this designer monitor we're going to draw. So we'll just pick that plane and we'll just start a sketch. Just like you do every day. They wanted the monitor to come in here and cut out. 
And the old method is to build cardboard templates and do all that, which is a lot of work. So now you can just take your SolidWorks tool and build a feature and do a feature and do extrude right up to surface. So with DesignWorks and SolidWorks, you have the best of both worlds. There was our monitor cut out and they wanted to shell it. So let's go up and do a shell. You can shell it out. It was about a hundred thousandths. There, that fast we have our dash for our monitor. Now let's go over here and see the textured contour. DesignWorks flow surfacing will build this exact. You can see how it did the plastic and even the carpet. So let's show you how we can build a feature over that. So let's take the feature and pull it down here a little bit. And it's somewhat flush. Let's offset it out a little bit. Even on all this rough texture, let's go grab that plane. Grab this plane here. Let's offset it. So we can really get a feel for out there. We'll stick it way out there. I would go across all that data. They want to make a storage compartment. But again, they wanted to see how it would go across all that data. So there's our plane. We'll come in here now, like we did on the dash, but now we're going to do across all that data. So let's pick that plane and we'll sketch. show you how nice this works. Now it does fit all the SolidWorks rules. You have to stay in contact with it. So if I do up to surface and I'm past it, you know, it, it won't reach that. So I might need to pull this down a little bit. Make sure it's actually when I do the surface, it's actually hitting it. You got to follow those same rules of SolidWorks. So let's go ahead and we'll do an up to surface there. We'll do a feature extrude across all that data. And I'll have to pull that in a little bit. We may have to be, we may be sticking out over the edge a little bit. I think we are. So let's go ahead and correct that. Again, you've got to follow the SolidWorks rules. You can't extrude up to surface in the, uh, an area that you can't do. And when I drug that, we want to trim that back up. SolidWorks 101. So now let's make sure we're normal to it. We should be. And we'll do our extrude up to surface. There we have our piece. Even across all that data. So let's see if we can see curve through it. Let's do a, do a shell so we can show you the inside. And you'll see the texture inside. There you can see right through it and see all the texture. So that fast, we brought in that large scan. We'll show that scan again. We built our models and fitted that all together. That's the power of DesignWorks Pro Mesh. Tune in next week and have a great day.